Air Force headquarters. We're uh, here to uh, tell our president that we want a contract and we want a fair contract and we want our sick leave and our benefits that we've been fighting for for years and stuff we want to keep. No two-tier wages, keep our pensions. We're not able to deliver the mail because Canada Post has locked us out. I don't get to work so I don't get paid and neither do all our fellow employees at Canada Post. And we miss our customers. We miss our customers. Oh, customers. There's plenty of mail waiting for you. There's yeah. lots there's of mail in the building. Mail and the lots plan. of mail. We have some important issues on the table and if the government's stepping in and trying to impose a contract, we know that we're going to suffer in the workplace. And Canada Post has just cut a deal with their friends in government. So we're now protesting the legislation and we're going to try and get it stopped We get it amended so that we don't get concessions shoved down our throat. This is a really important fight, not just for postal workers, but for members of the public and for society as a whole. We simply can't allow the corporate power to overcome us and take away all the rights and benefits we've fought for years. And I guess we should inform people that basically what we'd like to do this morning is bring the lockout to Canada Post head office. Um, maybe it's We're going to head over now. Please do not obstruct any PSOC members from going in. Our disruption today is with the employer, the employer only. There's uh, pretty much four entrances as far as vehicles can go in. There's the one at the very front, there's three at the back on Brookdale. Um, let's let the boss know what it's like to not be able to go to work when you want to. Thank you.
Feel dignified in that? You can't look look us in the eye and talk about that. Huh? Case. What about the people who had five thousand dollars in benefits? Very medicine good. a month. Made it myself. Spin yourself. Spinach, feta, tomato. Five thousand bucks a month in medicine you cut off one of our Somebody workers, and you're smiling. That's funny. Yeah, it's important. Can this guy cut off it. benefits stay for healthy. five thousand for a person? I, I five thousand a month. Need to work to stay month. healthy. Stay Sick healthy. Person. That's a good answer. Yeah, stay healthy. Stay Don't healthy go to this guy money. then. I don't have any money coming in to buy good food. Tell us why you just hide in an office and fire people and destroy their lives, treat their families like crap, and you can't say anything about that? Oh, I got your attention now. So what would you say about the people in the country who have been unjustly fired and those people who, who are very sick, require medicines of $5,000 a month that your organization's cut off, and no doubt fired some of them for being sick? How do you feel about that? You sleep well at night? Yeah, shame, shame on Canada Post. Why? Why are you negotiating with people? Yeah. Why are you keeping mail in the plants and telling the public there's no mail? Our plants are full of mail. And what do we tell our people who need medication? You've been cut off. There's no reason for that. You guys haven't done that before. That's a new one. That's shameful. Just shameful. Should be embarrassed. And that's why people are angry. Because what you're doing be playing is unfair. It's inhumane. Blackbird. It's just not nice, and it's it's just not how people should be behaving. That's a poor example for future generations. And it's making us look in a race of the law. Yeah, that's poor example. Walk away. Shame. Shame on Canada Post. 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 Shame on Canada Union took the ball off. Can you come take the chain? I just want to thank all our allies for coming out today and all the postal workers as well. This is a bigger struggle than just the struggle that we're facing. Air Canada is facing similar situation regarding pensions and stuff, and we need to stand strong. We are the vanguard at the beginning of this battle, and we need to stand strong, and we gave Canada Post a message today, gave them a little bit of taste of their own medicine, and uh, we need to prepare now for the legislation that might be coming down from the government, and thank you again all for showing up. I think this was a great success, so thank you all. So who are you with again? AFI International Group Inc. And who are you hired by? 
I'd say Canada Post. Canada Post in your private security? Private investigator, yes. Private investigator. Anything particular you're investigating today? No. No?